Hey, what's going on everybody? You guys know my name is Yusuf Scott, also referred to as the Forest Goat. I want to welcome you guys to the So Down Easy Forest Movement, where I help people just like you change your perspective, change the way you trade the Forex market for a profit. Alright? Now listen, as I always tell you guys, very thankful to have you guys here. I realize you guys could be anywhere in the world. You guys could be on somebody else's channel watching videos, but you're watching this video, so I want to thank you. Now listen, as always, if you're already, or let's say if you're not yet connected with me on social media, that's Facebook, that's Instagram, I want to tell you guys, you need to get connected with me there. If you're not yet a part of the 26,000 subscribers here on this YouTube channel, get subscribed. And also, if you're not yet connected with me on Vimeo, get there, all right? Now listen, today's video is going to be one that it's going to make you scratch your head. You're going to be wondering, like, what is in the world is this guy talking about? But listen, this video I'm going to teach you guys. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to inform you guys on, listen, um, maybe you should be trading Forex like your 9 to 5. All right, and like I said, some of you are gonna wonder, like, what in the world is he talking about? Let me explain. You guys know, you know, if you're working a nine to five, you're on a job, you make a salary, okay? Your salary may be, let's say, 150 grand a year. If I had to do the math, you're talking like 75 bucks an hour, okay? Um, but then you have some folks, they don't get paid that much. You know, they're, they're, they're working, working hard too. You know, the person making 75 bucks an hour could be working just as hard as somebody making $5 an hour, $7 an hour, $8 an hour, $10 an hour. But you have someone making, let's say, $10 an hour, and they're working just as hard. You know, they're both dedicated. But the person making $10 an hour, they're like, you know, man, I heard that, um, I heard that Rob, and uh, accountant, I heard he's making a buck fifty a year. I would love to do that. So you realize, you know, what type of industry he's in, you know, what type of field he's in. You say, man, like, I wonder, what, what, you know, what would it take for me to be just like this guy? What would it, what would it take for me to make that type of income, have that type of salary, be able to do the things that this guy does? So you do your little research, you start going online, you do a little research on your break, or you do your little research at home, you realize, man, in order for me to acquire that type of salary, I need to go back to school. And you say, you know what, I could get some certifications uh, underneath my belt, I can go to school, pursue this, and I can get there. So, you know, let's say, let's fast forward a couple years, and, and now you're, you know, you get a job offer, you know? You get a job offer and, and they're talking about bring you in at 125 grand a year. And um, you read over the job offer and you say, you know, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and accept this job offer. So, you know, you you accept it. And now you're at 125 grand a year. And you're doing pretty well. You know, you're doing pretty well for yourself, and you like, you know, I'm glad that I took advantage of this. I'm glad that I saw someone and I was inspired by this guy because, you know, Rob makes a decent salary. And that, that's a nice piece of change. So now you're gonna, you can sit back comfortably. But you, you feel like, you know, it, that, that's, that's not enough. I want to keep pushing. I want to shoot for the stars. I want to keep going, keep going. And, you know, you continue to pursue bigger positions so you can make bigger money. Or you may find yourself going from one one company to the next so that you can eventually achieve that amount. You may have more more responsibilities, but you you, you would appreciate doing the extra responsibilities because you want to get paid, you know, a little bit more to do it. So you, you take on more. Now you're at that 150. But let me tell you guys, the reason why I'm, I'm making this video is to give you guys the reality. You guys uh, you know, a lot of people are working and they're looking to, to, to trade Forex and what they're doing is they're taking the proceeds or they're taking their their salary, some of your, you know, portion of their salary and they're putting it inside the Forex market. And what they're trying to achieve is they're, they're trying to, or, they're, they're, or they're, their plan is to um, basically, um, 
you know, create the same type of salary that they're making on their job in Forex. But people are doing it wrong, okay? People are doing it wrong. And I want to sort of be in your face, and I want to be in your face and tell you, you have to think about the Forex money management side of things, okay? It's the reason why I said that we're going we're gonna to tie in the 9 to 5 with trading Forex, okay? Your 9 to 5, you get paid a salary. And you can treat Forex the same way. You can treat it the same way. See, I made a video the other day. If you guys haven't seen it yet, you need to watch it. it was, you know, I explained to you guys how, how I was able to profit the 100K a couple years ago on the GBP and ZD. Now, in that video, I showed a certain area where the market was at and and um, that area, well, the market is approaching that area right now. Yes. And I want to tell you guys something. And I want you guys to really think about this. If I gave five people, one person had $100 in their account, the other person had $1,000 in his account, the other person had 10000 the other person had, let's say, um, 100000 So you have, you have $100, you have 1000 you have 10000 and you have one hundred grand. And if I told everyone, get in on the GBP NZD, it's going up. If I told everyone that, get in on that, on that pair, it's going up. And if they all got in on that pair and I said, listen, you guys need to get out of that pair. Get out of that pair. If they all got out at the same time, they all got in at the same time, they all got out at the same time. Guess what? They would all be equally profitable. It all depends on how you look at it. Some of you may say, well, how could you take, how could you have someone trading on a GBP and ZD with 100000 be just as profitable as someone with $100? Easy. We're talking about percentages. Okay? If you're following my money management plan as I teach my students, the profit percentage on each of those accounts would have been the same. They would have, they would have achieved the same rate of success. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys another example. This morning, uh, I, I did a little scout, and um, what happened was, from my commissions, I, I took like $100, put it inside of an account, and I scalped it to like 180 bucks. That's 80% profit. 80% profit. That is the same as me taking a $10,000 account based on my findings in the market and scalping it to $8,000. You know, making an $8,000 profit. So scalping it to $18,000. Same 80%. The only difference is with your larger account, you can trade at a larger volume. That's the difference. But the profit percentage is the same. All right? Which is why someone with a larger account could control less of the market than someone with a smaller account trading with $100. It's possible. Very possible. Okay, some of you, I know you guys have watched my, um, you know, how to trade a small account video. And a lot of you have emailed me and say, listen, man, I really need to learn how to trade a small account, this and that, woo, woo, woo. But I want to tell you guys, it is possible. Unfortunately, people, they come to trade Forex, they trade with a small account, and they trade way too heavy. Not only that, they don't know what they're doing. They're not taught properly. 
because your entry is everything. See, if the market is supposed to go up, it's going to go up. It doesn't care if you have a small account or a large account, it's going to go up. Now, mind you, I said if the market is going to go up, it's going to go up. How it goes up, we don't know how it's going to go. We don't know if it's going to go down first and just shoot up. We don't know if it's going to do a fake out. We don't know that. But if it's going to go up, it's going to go up. If your money management is tight, doesn't matter what it does, it's still going to go up. If your money management isn't tight, doesn't matter what it does, it's still going to go up. So whether your money management is good or not, whether you have a small account or not, it's still going to do what it's supposed to do. So all you need to learn how to do is grow that small account. See, someone with a smaller account, he needs to be a little bit more conservative. Or let's say a, a lot more conservative in his or her approach. Because you're not dealing with a large amount of cushion, you know? I know many of you have taken, you have opened up, I mean, we all have done it. You open up a, 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 a demo account, you say, well, you know what, I'm gonna trade with a million dollars. What happens when you trade with a million dollars you open up one trade at 10 cent? You have a whole lot of strength versus having a lot of money in your account, trading, I'll say a lot of heavy, <laughs> or trading real heavy, you guys know what I mean, and I'm just joking, trading heavy, and the market, you know, let's say trading heavy with a lot of money in your account, you know, you're maxed out, you're over leveraged, and your entry is off. If your entry is off, if the market is still going to go up, and your entry is raw, and your entry is off. See, we don't know if it's going to go up and down and then go up. We don't know that. So if your entry is off and you're trading too heavy, that one, that large account, that really big account, it doesn't matter. You're trading too heavy because the value of each of your pips is so much. All right. That's why I say, when you're trading Forex, treat it like you're nine to five. The idea of trading Forex should be that you want to, here's the kicker, here's the punch. To trade Forex like you're nine to five, you want to increase your volume amount. See, I don't want to trade at 10 cents. I want to be like that guy saying, I'm a tr I, want to, I want to make $75 an hour so I can get at the $150 a year. So guess what? I don't want to be stuck trading $0.10 cent because I keep jumping in and, and wiping out my account. I want to build up my account so in a month's time, I'm trading now at $3. In a month's time, I'm now trading at a standard. In a month's time, here it is, four months gone by, I'm trading that a whole lot. So now, every time that, every time I get one pip in profit, guess what? I'm making $40, $50 an hour. I mean, I'm, I'm making $40 or $50 uh, dollars per pip, which is the equivalent, sort of like $75 an hour. You get what I'm saying? Like... And instead of, instead of trading at that, being stuck at that low volume, think big. Think big, all right? But you got to have a plan. If you don't have a plan, trust me, people have said, oh, you, no plan, you're going to fail. You're playing to fail, you don't have a plan. Yeah, I mean, you guys get that. You guys heard that. I don't need to say that. But I'm just saying, why be stuck trading at just 10 cents? Well, you can take your time. Just like I did this morning, I said, you know, let me, let me do this so people can see that you can take a mere $100 and you can grow it. 
If I did $80 today, 80% profit, and I trust me, I could be trading right now. I could be making a lot more if I wanted to scout. No, I'm 80%, I'm good. Let me, let me get out the market. I don't need to hang around the market all day. Just did this, get, get in, get out the market. I'm good, 80%, I'm good. Because see, the way I think is, and I told you guys about perspective, the way I think is, it's the same money. If I chose to trade a $10,000 account, that's the equivalent of making 8000 in the same amount of time. So when you learn how to trade, you can take a smaller account, a modest size account, or a large account, if you will, and you can grow it. It doesn't matter. It's all in how you look at it. So in a nutshell, how do you trade Forex like a nine to five. You commit to learning more about trading Forex. Like I said, you know, this, this guy with the example, you know, he wanted to go to school and learn more so he can be like the guy making 75 dollars a you know an hour. You know, he wanted to get some credentials underneath his belt. He wanted to get some 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 um you know he wanted to get some certifications underneath his belt. Alright? So that now he can sit down with the big guys and say, listen. Listen, I know this, that, and the third. All right? I know this. You guys are offering me, um, you guys offer me $45 an hour. I'm going to counter. How about you offer me 50 You know? And how about this? How about you offer me 50 and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, I'm going to put myself in school for, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to acquire two more credentials. And let's have a meeting in, in, in another year, and we're going to discuss um, me maybe applying for another position as your senior, I don't know, financial analyst, whatever. Because I want to get it 125 to 130. All right? But the idea is there was a plan, there was an aspiration, there was a vision. All right? If he or she thought for a second it was unattainable, wouldn't have pursued it at all. The fact that you thought, the fact that you believed, the fact that you had the, the, the drive, the ambition to go after it, that showed faith. That showed faith that you know you can get it. If this guy did it, I know I can get it. What makes him more worthy than me? I can learn this. We're all man. You can learn it too. Trust me when I tell you. So I want you guys to know. Treat it like you're 9 to 5. Go in and at, you know, trade, trade that small account. Whatever. Lose the pride. Lose the pride. Trade that small account. Grow that account. Watch you, watch you trade at 10 cent. In another month, you're growing that account. Now you're trading at a dollar. Keep growing that account. Now you're trading at $4. Keep growing that account. Now $7. Then a standard. Keep growing it. Increase the value of your PIP. Treat it like you're 9 to 5. All right? Hopefully this video touched somebody. Hopefully it touched you. You guys already know I'm Yusuf Scott. They consider me the Forest Goat. You guys, if you're not yet connected with me on social media, that's Facebook, that's Instagram, get connected. If you're not yet a part of the 26,000 subscribers here, I'm attracting people from all across the world. I'm going to continue to attract people from all across the world because of the words that I, I utter. There's truth and substance in the tongue. I'm speaking it right before you. You guys have a fantastic day. Peace.